Hello guys, how are you? I hope you are doing great. Uh, I'm Eva, I'm your personal personality and talent uh, de uh, development psychologist. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, a successful mm -hmm. career, about, uh, about um, talent at work, because that's actually um, topic of my uh, of my research and yesterday I uh, talked at a conference where I presented my results and um, well I thought that I will share some tips and some information with you as well because it's actually really interesting uh, nothing super super new but uh, I think that I can offer a quite uh, interesting um, um, you know, look at uh, what you need to be successful at your job, at your work, at your uh, you know, you know, at your business, whatever you do. So, um, you know, during uh, the last um, year or so, I was talking to HR professionals, to HR managers, and I was asking them this simple question. How do you know that your colleague or you know the employee at the organization where you work, how do you know that this person is really good? How do you know this person is talented? And I was focusing on people who are like first line managers. Uh, so really no high profile uh, jobs, just um, you know some, some regular positions like team leader. And, uh, you know, I always sat down with them and I uh, kind of uh, um, you know, uh, investigated uh, this topic. And, uh, you know, I found out that there's actually a certain structure that people who are really good at their work have, uh, you know, some characteristics, some, uh, um, some know-how. And uh, I will share with you how it actually works. So this structure has three parts. The first one is, um, you know, it's a, um, it actually uh, goes very well. It copies one model uh, of talent uh, that's already there by uh, Silza and Church. Uh, so. I will actually talk uh, about this because that's what also my results proved as uh, you know being uh, being out there um, you know in the terrain. So the first layer of talent when we're talking about you know work about organizations is um, related to cognitive. Uh, characteristics to cognitive capabilities and to uh, personality to certain personality setting so when I'm talking about cognitive uh, abilities I am not necessarily talking about intelligence in the sense of you know having really high uh, IQ uh, being extremely smart or being very being you know a rocket scientist nothing like that it's uh, more about having uh, some sort of common sense and uh, you know being able to um, you know, really see in, in quite complex situations what's going on. Uh, so this kind of uh, practical uh, intelligence, I would say. So that's what's really important. You don't have to be extra smart. You don't have to be, um, you don't have to have like 120 uh, IQ points, no things like that. You know, just regular common sense will do. Uh, another thing, and that's regarding your personality. Uh, again, it seems there's uh, like no specific profile when it comes to personality. Um, you know, these HR professionals, they weren't talking about, you know, that you have to be um, 
highly extroverted or uh, you know you have to have uh, you know you have to be pushy or you have to be really very assertive or anything like that it was just you know there shouldn't be any excesses uh, like any um, you know strong um, uh, how to say that uh, you know it, it should be just complex and uh, like regular or normal normal personality setting uh, you don't have to have anything that special you should be the person who is good with other people who is compatible with the rest of your team with your colleagues um, you should be person other people want uh, to talk to and you should be able to communicate with other people you should be able to transfer information that's uh, what's uh, going on here um, so you should be good with people that's basically it but um, uh, you know how you do that uh, it really depends on uh, the rest of uh, your team or it really depends on your colleagues so if you actually fit uh, fit in well then you don't have to be worried about any specific personality setting so that's like the first layer cognitive abilities common sense basically and uh, you know a decent personality when uh, you can talk to other people and uh, you can handle social situations you know accordingly so that's it that's the basis what comes up next is much more important and um, you know this layer consists actually uh, of two um, dimensions or of two um, of two categories the first one is learning and the other one is motivation and these are actually really important so if you want to be good at your work if you want to be uh, good at, uh, at uh, you know if you want to be successful in your professional life then you have to be able to motivate yourself you have to be able to show that you want to be good that you're interested in your own success and in success of your colleagues in success of um, your company or in success of the company uh, where you work so it's about this internal drive and this energy this willingness to put yourself out there to roll up your sleeves to get to work that's really you know this can really win your race and uh, what can help you as well is also this willingness to learn flexibility uh, the ability to adapt to new situations um, and uh, you know I would call this uh, open mind you know like this um, you know, willingness to absorb what's out there to embrace change because that's what's happening all the time and uh, you know the world is changing at the pace we have never seen before and um, you know these uh, decision makers uh, in companies they see that and they want people who are you know willing and able to react accordingly you know when when something comes because you know there's um, well there's nothing worse than you know needing to adapt needing uh, to kind of pivot to survive and you know having someone on board who's just uh, uh, you know refusing to to do anything you know no matter what the reason is so these are crucial parts of being successful at work and then there's this kind of top layer uh, perhaps uh, this um, you know cherry 
on uh, the top of a cake. And um, there are actually three categories. The first one is a leadership category. So yes, if we're talking about people who are managers, uh, you don't have to be CEO, but it's important even if you are a team leader, if you need to uh, manage just the three, four people. Uh, these leadership skills, this willingness to uh, lead the team, this willingness to take some responsibility, this is uh, very important. Uh, you know, this, um, you know, not being selfish, not being focused on yourself, but taking care of your team and, um, you know, gaining their trust. It's important. Um, the second category is related to your performance. So, you know, if you are good, if you are amazing, if you have amazing traits, if you have amazing um, characteristics, you know, no can do if you are doing nothing, if you don't deliver any results. So that's also important. And the third thing is um, uh, related to your know-how and to your values. So what do you know if you are actually expert in your field or not? What's interesting is that, you know, all the people I, I was talking to, these HR managers, they talked about these three uh, categories as about something that if you don't have at first, you can, thanks to your willingness to learn and thanks to your motivation, you know, these three things, leadership, uh, your uh, performance and know-how, this is something you can, you can actually gain. It's something you can get down the road so you don't have to necessarily have this right away. If you are motivated, if you are willing to learn, then um, you know there might be no issue in um, you know lacking something in leadership, in know-how, or in uh, uh, in performance. Okay, so um, yeah, I believe that uh, this was really nothing so uh, groundbreaking, but I think that. Uh, all this structure um, is uh, quite logic and uh, puts fo forward uh, things that are really crucial. And if you want to get better at your job, if you want to be successful, um, well, maybe you just uh, want to be fulfilled by what you do because you do it well or maybe you want to climb up uh, the corporate uh, ladder um, you know whatever floats your boat just uh, think about these categories think about this structure and uh, you know support yourself uh, where you think you need it the most and uh, I personally really recommend focusing on learning and on your motivation especially on intrinsic motivation because that's really uh, groundbreaking uh, that that's really what makes the difference uh, the most okay so thank you uh, for listening to me hi Cornell uh, I hope you're having a really nice day um, and uh, the mine is uh, already about to end, so uh, enjoy the rest of yours. And uh, I'll see you soon. So thanks. Bye. Take care.